All right, guys, let's see if we can change some minds tonight. What do you got on the low for us today, Mia? Today we're going to be talking about a standoff that happened in Massachusetts versus some militia known as the Rise of the Moors. The standoff began early on Saturday when a trooper stopped to offer assistance to vehicles on the side of the highway in the town of Wakefield, where the group was refueling. The group said they were traveling from Rhode Island to Maine for training. None of the men who were dressed in military fatigues and body armor had a license to carry firearms in Massachusetts. The trooper called for backup and most of the group went into the nearby woods until they surrendered to a police tactical team just after 10 a.m. The standoff closed I-95 during the holiday weekend and some residents were told to shelter in place. Massachusetts State Police said 11 people who were arrested following an hour long uh, standoff uh, will be taken in and the police say they call themselves militia, no, call themselves a militia and follow sovereign citizens ideology, a subsect known or a subsect of a ideology known as Moorish sovereign ideology. Yeah. Which is complicated stuff. Yeah. And it's also bullshit. Um, <laughs> so... <laughs> what? You don't believe them? <laughs> no. Here's the thing. They claim to not uh, adhere or believe in the governed uh, positions, right? You can't govern us, da 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 But yet, right. you are a U.S. citizen. You have a social security number. You do pay taxes, and you're driving on our infrastructure. No, no, they don't. They don't drive. They're traveling. Uh, <laughs> they don't for training. Yeah. Um, oh my god. Yeah. So like, we're traveling. They're, they're carrying weapons across state lines and not adhering to each individual state's licensure, mm -hmm. which I think is bullshit. Personally, I think it mm -hmm. should be a federal thing. It's done. Mm -hmm. um, but nonetheless. And the thing is, they pulled over on the side of the highway like a bunch of dumbasses to refuel. Mm -hmm. Pull off the highway like a normal person, you fucking moron. You're going to draw the attention of state troopers when you have guns and body armor on? Now, I'm not saying I'm against their ideas. I say it's a stupid way of implementing it. That's for damn sure. 15 cars pull over, and they all have fatigues and bulletproof vests and guns on them. It's going to draw Maybe some attention. It was on the highway. Yeah. Was there, like... Forests around, yeah. They, they actually ran, so maybe they thought they couldn't home. be seen. Oh boy, <laughs> hold that candle, huh? Yeah, <laughs> we'll be fine. They'll never spot us, guys. Um, <laughs> John Cena, yeah, that's clearly not the sharpest knives in the drawer. Well, and the thing is, I always want to tell you be careful about the media narrative, the media narrative around this, bullshit, right? So, this is what the media is reporting. But the actual people on the ground were live streaming and saying, listen, guys, they're saying we're anti-government. We're not anti-government. We're not anti-police. We're not anti-this uh, and that. He goes, listen, we just want to have sovereign status, and we, we uh, are just going up north for some training. And I know they're going to try and control their narrative, too. So we got two different people trying to spin shit. You know? So right. just be careful. Consider the source. And always be skeptical of the U.S. government and the in the mainstream media, the corporately sponsored media. Because look what they said about uh, David Koresh in Waco, Texas. Look what they said about everything. Yeah. <laughs> be specific. Yes. <laughs> but like one, one interesting thing about this is uh, this is an unusual crossover here. The Moorish sects don't usually go in with this um, sovereign citizen stuff or paramilitary right. thing. Mm -hmm. So. They're, they're an interesting cross section here. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's different. It's different. It, it has some racist, white supremacist roots in its origins, but yet mm -hmm. most of the people, or some of the people in this, I don't want to call it this, this formation, if you will, is also black men. So it makes you really scratch your head, like, hmm, kind of like the I, Proud Boys, you know. Well, you know, like, you say, yeah. you're giving me more faith that I might be able to infiltrate that that Trump house. There it is. It, I it mean, a, it's it, listen. Hmm? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's gonna be good footage. But uh, but yeah, so this, this but guys, it's the holiday. Can you imagine trying to drive 
and you go to 95 I 95, one of the busiest highways along the Atlantic coastline, is shut down for how many hours? 11 hours, was it, Mia? Um, it only lasted until 10 a.m. It was 11 people who were arrested. It happened oh, earlier in the morning. So it was only a few hours, but. No, I was just saying I'd be super aggy still. Ooh, I'd be hating on them bitches as I drove by. Man. Fuck you. You know, <laughs> if that happened in your community, I don't care how peaceful they say they are. You'd be freaked out about your kid in the school and a couple miles down the road. You'd be freaked out about the concert going on locally mm-hmm. for Fourth of July. Yeah, where the hell are they going? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it's over the holiday weekend. Um, but yeah, guys, let us know what you think about that in the comment section while you're here. Of course, get a video like, hit subscribe, ring that notification bells for alerts for upcoming videos. Go follow Ronnie at read at read my lips on YouTube for YouTube. sure. Read my lips news and politics. Yeah, guys. So uh go read the book.